Now we move the object until it is 15 centimeters behind the mirror. Then keeping our ruler at the mirror, just as we measured the object, the image in the mirror before, we are now going to be measuring the size of the actual object from the perspective of the mirror. Again, you may need to get higher or lower on the table until you align the bottom of the golf tee to the bottom of your ruler. So it is 15 centimeters actually behind the mirror. In the image, the image appeared to be 15 centimeters behind the mirror. We're actually putting the object now 15 centimeters behind the mirror to see if its image height is the same, its apparent image height is the same as its actual height from the perspective of the mirror. So you might need to squat down below the table, align the bottom of the golf tee to the bottom of the ruler, and you see that the golf tee is approximately 3.5 centimeters tall. You repeat the activity, put it 30 centimeters behind the mirror, you place the ruler, and again, you'll need to get higher or lower on the table so that you can align the bottom of the golf tee. Again, the mirror is 30 centimeters from the table. I align the bottom of the golf tee to the bottom of the mirror, and the golf tee object appears to be about three centimeters tall. It also is 30 centimeters behind the mirror. Remember the image, when it was 30 centimeters in front, appeared to be, when you looked at the distance, 30 centimeters behind the mirror. Now we see that the actual height of the object, three centimeters, when it's 30 centimeters behind the mirror, which equals how tall it looked before when we were looking at the image in the mirror 30 centimeters in front. What we want to show children is that objects in mirrors do not get smaller. They just appear to get smaller because the object looks like it's 30 centimeters behind the mirror. So it doesn't get smaller. If we actually put the object behind the mirror by 30 centimeters, we'll see that the object size appears to be the same size as the image size in the mirror. The distance also remains the same. 15 centimeters in the mirror, and the 15 centimeters in the mirror equals the 15 centimeters. For this activity, have the students place the mirror on the line. They may want to turn it to the side so they can see it. Then once they place it there, then they draw their Im the image they see, they draw in the block here. They want to make it as close as they can to what they actually observe in their image, in the mirror. So you see that line goes almost all the way up to the top, and halfway down you have a line that goes out like that, and then you have a longer line like that. Then the student should observe that this is the opposite or the reverse of that. They also do this by making a two. They put the two table tent on that spot. Then take their mirror, place it on the gray line, and then draw the image that they see in the mirror, which appears to go up like that. like so. Then they can compare their image to the object that they copied.